if you want to use Arachne for Rebility Scanner for scanning web application, you just need to click in this virtual machine, Scanner Spaz, then click on Summary and click on Launch Web Console. And now you are you are accessing the the virtual machine automatically. So in this virtual machine we have all GUI scanners, all GUI vulnerability scanners. They're sort of professional, Wasp, Zap, and Arachne. If you want to use Arachne, you just need to open Arachne folder, then open then folder then go to Arachne web and we will wait for Arachne to start Now Arachne started on the local host and the port number 9292. We just need to type this address on the browser. Local host 9292. We'll open the browser. Then we'll write local host 9292. And now we are accessing the home page. This is the home page of the Arachne vulnerability scanner. We will use the default credentials for Arachne, the email admin at admin.admin and password as administrator. Also you can you can find these credentials on the desktop in this file. So you just need to use these credentials and sign in and now you are accessing the Arachne and you can start the scan by selecting a new scan and here it will ask you for the URL of the web application you are going to scan in our case, we have two web applications, Matildai and WebCourt. First, make sure the web application you are going to scan is running. So, if we open Rackney, no, sorry, WebCourt, WebCourt require login. So, you need to login with the default username and password. Admin1 and password is password then sign in then copy the URL of the web code after sign again and go to Arachne sorry in case of Matilda you don't need to log in you just need to copy the URL and go to Arachne and paste it here also, you need to select default. Don't use, uh, if you are going to have comprehensive scan, you don't need like to select uh, any vulnerability, like cross-site scripting or SQL injection or any vulnerability. We'll make it default. The scanner will scan against all the vulnerabilities and detect. Then, click and go. It will take some time to scan the web application and generate the report. We will, we will wait for the scanner to complete the scanning process. Now the scanning process completed. As you can see, the scan completed. And here we see the vulnerabilities the scanner detected. So the scanner detected one high level vulnerability type and four 
medium probability type medium level these are high medium and low these are the separate level of probabilities so uh, the total number the total uh, number of probabilities the scanner detected one plus four five plus two six and two informational informational not considered probabilities so we can we can download the scanning report in any format we would like so for example if you want to download the report in html format or xml format or any format 